Welcome to our MJ Podcast. This podcast is coming to you from our Plattsburgh, New York home office. My name is Mark, and I will be your host for tonight's podcast. Joining us later will be one of our co-hosts and a guest speaker. This is Episode 9, Part 3, Cases State by State. On this episode, we will look at 16 missing person cases. Case 1. Welcome to Alabama. Missing. 42-year-old white female, Marsha Lynn Scobie. The 42-year-old Scobie went missing on March 29, 2003 from Enterprise, Alabama, located in Coffee County. Scobie was last seen by her family at approximately 10 p.m. on March 29, 2003 in Enterprise, Alabama at Amzano's, formerly known as Bucks. The 42-year-old female was last seen boarding a Greyhound bus traveling northbound. Marcia Lynn Scobie's family reported her missing on March 31st, two days after they last saw her. If you have any information about this case, please contact the Daleville, Daleville Police Department. Chief Investigator Noah Suter. Phone number 334-598-4442, extension 204. Case 2. Missing. 21-year-old black female, Abrina Nicole Mack. The 21-year-old Mack vanished without a trace on August 15th. 2006 from Montgomery, Alabama, located in Montgomery County. Mack was last seen leaving her home at 729 B Central Street in Montgomery. Mack told her sister she was walking over to a neighboring street, but the 21-year-old never came home. Anyone with information about this case, please contact the Montgomery Police Department, Detective Jeremy Jones, phone number 334-625-2849. Case 3, Welcome to Alaska, Missing, 24-year-old white female, Erin Marie Gilbert. The 24-year-old Gilbert disappeared on July 1st. 1995 from Gridwood, Anchorage Borough, Alaska. Gilbert was last seen in the evening of July 1st, 1995 at the Gridwood Forest Fair in Gridwood, where she became separated from her date. He said he last saw Gilbert at 1800 hours after discovering he left his lights on on his car and that his car wouldn't start. Searchers scoured the woods in case she went for a hike by herself and got into trouble. But she was not an outdoor person. According to her sister, she lived in Alaska for only about a year and never would have gone into the woods alone. The 24-year-old Gilbert was working as a nanny in Anchorage and living with her sister at the time. Gilbert was planning to start beauty school in a few weeks. Foul play is expected. If you have any info concerning this case, please contact the Alaska State Troopers at 907-269. 5497. Case 4. Missing. 42 year old white female Mary Ellen McMillan. The 42 year old McMillan vanished without a trace on November 21st, 1998, from Fairbanks, Alaska. McMillan was last seen in her residence by her husband on Steel Creek Road in Fairbanks, Alaska on November 21st. 
1998. After working at the Carlson Center as a physician's assistant, she went home and was supposed to meet with friends, but never arrived. The 42-year-old female failed to report to work at a sports medicine clinic. McMillan is a hard-working and conscientious, and it was uncharacteristic for her not to show up for work. The 42-year-old McMillan was last seen driving a dark green 1994 Subaru Loyal wagon with Alaskan license number CSY-207. The family feared she may have driven into a ditch, but searches turned up nothing. She was declared deceased by the state court judge in 2004. If you have any info concerning this case, please contact the Alaska State Troopers at 907-451-5326. Case 5. Welcome to Arizona. Missing 31-year-old white female Patricia Rochelle Corona. The 31-year-old Corona vanished without a trace on November 22, 1998, from Phoenix, Arizona, located in Maricopa County. On November 22, 1998, at approximately 3 a.m., Corona was last seen in a late model white Cadillac Eldorado in the area of 1400 West Pasadena in Phoenix, Arizona. It is possible the 30 one year old left on foot in that area. Corona has not been seen or heard from again. Foul play is suspected in her disappearance. Anyone with information about this case, please contact the Phoenix Police Department Missing Persons Unit Detective Stuart Schomershoe, number 602 261. 8065. Case 6. A missing couple. Missing. 43 year old white female Catherine E. Nelson and 58 year old white male Charles Martin Russell. Nelson and Russell disappeared on February 2nd, 2002, from Phoenix, Arizona, lo located in Maricopa County. Catherine Nelson and her fiancé, Charles Russell, was traveling in their red Ford SBT Lightning F-150 pickup truck with Arizona license plates 274-HBF at the time of their disappearance. The truck was discovered abandoned in a parking lot in Santa Cruz Catholic Church in Tucson on February 7, 2002. There was no indication of a struggle at the scene and no additional evidence was found inside the vehicle. Nelson and Russell's family members told authorities that it is uncharacteristic of them to leave without warning. They left their dog unattended inside their house as they planned to return home during the evening of February 2nd. The relatives stated that Nelson and Russell would have placed their pet in a kennel if they expected to stay away for an extended period of time. They are described as having a very stable and loving relationship. Authorities believe that Nelson and Russell may have been lured to Tucson for the purposes of a robbery, but little evidence is available to prove any theory. Foul play is suspected in the Nelson and Russell's disappearances. In 2015, 44 year old Brian Ferry was arrested for the murder of 58 year old Charles Russell and 42 year old Catherine Nelson. Ferry was charged with two counts of first degree murder. If you have any info, pass it on to the Phoenix Police Department Missing and Unidentified Persons Unit Detective. Stewart Somershoe at 602-261-8065.
case 7. Welcome to Arkansas. Missing 36-year-old white female Deborah Jean Vaughn. This 36-year-old Vaughn went missing on July 24, 1993 from Heber Springs, Arkansas. Deborah Vaughn was last seen at her res residence in Greer's Ferry, Arkansas. The 36-year-old female shared a residence with her former husband. They had a history of domestic violence. In June of 1993, she told her mother she was going to leave her husband, but planned to go back to their trailer to get her belongings. She has not been seen since. Her former husband was the last person known to see Vaughn alive. Vaughn's family reported her missing to police five months after they last saw her on January of 1994. Investigators found many of Vaughn's personal belongings out in the country, and they found a safety deposit box with her valuables, but they never found Deborah Jean Vaughn or her car. Vaughn was driving a 1980 blue Chevy Monte Carlo. Case 8 Missing 32-year-old white female, Terry Lee Holland. The 32-year-old Holland vanished without a trace on June 1, 1997, or could be the year 2000 or later. The exact date isn't known at this time. She went missing from Alexander, Arkansas, located in Saline County. On August 5, 1997, Miss Holland's mother, Eve Sims, stated that she has not seen or heard from her daughter since June 1, 1997. Previously, Terry was charged with possession and the manufacturing of methamphetamines and other drug-related violations on February 5, 1997. Holland had a court date to hear her case on July 14, 1997, which was set on May 5, 1997. After that date, the 32-year-old Holland failed to appear in court. An arrest warrant was issued on July 24, 1997. Holland's bench trial was postponed by her attorney until August 25, 1997, and she still did not appear. According to court records, Ms. Holland reappeared in court more than two years later on a number of occasions since she was reported missing. September 20th, 1999, October 25th, 1999, November 29th, 1999, January 3rd and January 20th of the year 2000. Holland pleaded guilty to charges against her and was sentenced to an Arkansas Regional Prison Facility for drug treatment while incarcerated. It is unknown where Holland is at this time. If you have any, any info concerning this case, please contact the Saline County Sheriff's Office, Lieutenant Mike Frost at 501-303-5600. Let's take a pause for the cause, and we'll be back in a moment with our podcast. MJA would like to give a special shout out to the Corbin Connection Comedy Channel on YouTube. Mr. Corbin is a very funny man with his three alder egos. Once again, that's the Corbin Connection on the Comedy Channel on YouTube. Check it out. Thank you.
Welcome back to our MJA podcast. This is Episode 9, Part 3, the series, Cases State by State. Case 9, Welcome to California, Missing 32-Year-Old Hispanic Female, Dora Maria Silva. The 32-Year-Old Silva went missing on May 8, 1999 from San Fernando, California. Dora was last seen at approximately 2300 at her residence in the vicinity of the 200 block of Lazard Street in San Fernando, California. Dora, a married mother of four children ages 4 through 15, was last seen leaving her San Fernando home late in the evening on May 8, 1999. Dora Maria Silva's husband reported her missing on May 9, 1999. Silva's gray 1997 Chevrolet Astro van with a dark blue top was later located abandoned on San Fernando and Mission Boulevard in Mission Hills, California, two miles from the missing woman's home. Residents told investigators the van had been parked on the street between late May 8th and early May 9th. A woman recognized the van from a newspaper story. Friends and relatives said Silva has no history of disappearing or leaving unannounced. The 32-year-old Silva has not contacted her extensive network of family and friends and co-workers. Police officers, sheriff's deputies, and volunteers searched El Carcino Regional Park in Selma, California on May 22. 1999 but found no clues. Foul play is considered a possibility. If you have any information concerning this case, please contact the San Fernando Police Department at 818-898-1267. Case 10. Missing 
27-year-old white female, Christine Lynn Wilson. The 27-year-old Wilson vanished without a trace on October 5, 2005 from Lincoln, California, located in Placer County. Wilson was last seen at 1.13 a.m. on October 5, 2005. Surveillance videos show Christine walking into the parking lot of the Thunder Valley Casino in Lincoln, California after having exit the casino front doors. Surveillance captured Christina walking with a man identified as Mario Garcia, age 53, a resident of Auburn, California. It was proven that Garcia did in fact kill Christine and he was convicted of her murder first on the first degree on November 22, 2006 and was sentenced as a second striker on January 11, 2007 and was given 59 years to life in prison. Wilson's remains have never been found. Case 11. Welcome to Colorado. Missing 24-year-old white female Lori Renee Lucas. The 24-year-old Lucas disappeared on June 8, 1990 from Aurora, Colorado. Lucas was reported missing to the Aurora Police Department on January 8, 1991. Her mother, Sandra Lucas, reported Laura missing by telephone from Iowa Falls, Iowa. According to Sandra, she had not heard from her daughter for at least six months prior to the missing persons report. Authorities have also been attempting to locate relatives to obtain DNA reference samples for CODIS entry. Lori lived on the at 13400 block of East Colfax Avenue at Weekly Motor Inn. Lori was last seen with William Bannister, a suspected serial killer. Mr. Bannister advised law enforcement the last time he saw Lori Lucas was in September or October of 1990. Mr. Bannister stated that Lori left for Texas with a roofer, roofer named Mike. Mr. Bannister has been unresponsive, unresponsive responsive to follow up interview requests. If you have any info about the case, please contact Detective Stephen Connor of the Cold Case Squad at the Aurora Police Department, Major Crime Homicide Unit, Cold Case Squad 303-739-6190. Case 12, Missing, 35-year-old white female. Darlene Ann Wallace. The 35-year-old Wallace vanished without a trace on January 17, 2005 from Colorado Springs, Colorado, located in El Paso County. Darlene was last seen at approximately 12 p.m. at a family member's residence in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Darlene's mother stated that her daughter left with her boyfriend and never came home. However, her boyfriend contacted her a couple of days later looking for Darlene, stating he did not know where she was now. If you have any info on this case, contact the Colorado Springs Police Department Detective Sean Peterson at 719-444-7598 extension 7537 
Case 13. Welcome to Connecticut. Missing. 35-year-old black female, Regina F. Brown. The 35-year-old Brown disappeared on March 27, 1987 from Newtown, Connecticut, located in Fairfield County. Regina Brown went missing after she dropped her daughter and babysitter off at LaGuardia Airport in New York City to visit Regina's parents in Texas. Regina returned back to her Newtown, Connecticut home and was never heard from again. The 35-year-old Brown is the mother of three children and was an American Airlines flight attendant at the time of her disappearance. Regina's car was found in April, several days after she was reported missing in front of an apartment in New York City. The key was still in the ignition. If you have any info concerning this case, please contact the Newtown Department of Police Services Detective Jason Frank. Number 203-426-5841. Case 14. Welcome to Delaware. Missing. 44-year-old white female, Sandra Lorraine Andrews. The 44-year-old Andrews disappeared on November 16, 1990 from Seaford, Delaware, located in Sussex County. Andrews left her nursing job at the Methodist Manor in Seaford, Delaware around 23.15 hours on November 16, 1990. About 1400 the next day, her 1985 Mercury Cougar was discovered abandoned behind a business on US 13 North of Seaford. Andrew's purse and belongings were scattered on the ground near the driver's side door and her keys were on the trunk lid. The 44-year-old Andrews was never seen again. Foul play is suspected. Andrews, a mother of two grown daughters, had divorced in 1982 but was reconciled with her ex-husband. If you have any information concerning this case, please contact the Delaware State Police at 302-739. 5939 Case 15 Welcome to Florida Missing 16 year old white female Christy Jean Rogers The 16 year old female vanished without a trace on August 2nd 1997 from Crestview Florida located in Okaloosa County Christy was to spend Friday night on August 1st, 1997 at a girlfriend's house, but instead went to her boyfriend's home. He states that she left there at around 5 o'clock on August 2nd, 1997, but she has not been seen or heard from since that time. Rogers wasn't a runaway. The 16-year-old Rogers had no problems at home and there was no reason for her to leave home. Rogers took nothing with her including medication she was taking for a kidney infection. None of Rogers', Rogers friends knew anything. In February 1998, a bag containing clothing, keys, makeup, belonging to Rogers was discovered behind a shopping center close to where she disappeared. If you have any info concerning this case, please contact the Crestview Police Department, Lieutenant K. Pitts at 850-682-2055. Case 16. Missing 19-year-old white female, Brittany Jean Wright. 
The 19-year-old Wright vanished without a trace on July 22, 2007 from Vernon, Florida, located in Washington County. Wright was last seen outside her home off of County Road in Vernon, Florida on July 22, 2007. Around 11.30 p.m. to midnight, Brittany asked to borrow her mother's cell phone. At approximately 2 a.m. or 3 a.m., a cousin staying at the residence noticed Brittany's bed was empty. Between 2 a.m. and 3 a.m., Brittany made a series of calls from her mom's cell phone. One conversation was with her friend lasted 20 minutes. These calls are the last contact of Brittany. All of the Wright's belongings were left at her home, cell phone, purse, clothing, identification, and other items she would normally take if she was leaving her residence. Investigators say they have spoken to people where they've seen Wright since she disappeared from home, which leads them to believe there is no foul play involved. Those tips and comments led them to searching areas in Alabama and Georgia. In addition to Washington County, she also has family in Ozark, Alabama area. There is no indication she traveled there after her disappearance. Authorities believe there is no foul play involved. However, they are concerned that no one has heard from her since she disappeared. If you have any info concerning this case, please contact the Washington County Sheriff's Office, Wallace Wills at 850-638-6117. Let's take a pause for the cause, and when we return, our co-host and a guest speaker will join the podcast. Back in a moment. MJA would like to give a special shout out to the Corbin Connection Comedy Channel on YouTube. Mr. Corbin is a very funny man with his three alder egos. Once again, that's the Corbin Connection on the Comedy Channel on YouTube. Check it out. Thank you. Welcome back to our MJ Podcast. This is Episode 9, Part 3. The series, Cases 
state by state. Good evening, everyone. It's with deep regret that our co-host and our guest speaker couldn't be on the show tonight. We will keep you updated when they will return. I have a quote for our listeners. It has been said, Time heals all wounds. I do not agree. The wounds remain. In time, the mind, protecting its sanity, covers them with scar tissue and the pain lessens. But it is never gone. Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy Always remember, folks, if you ever get bored with nothing to do, well, take a walk deep into the woods. You might be surprised at what you might find. I want to thank our listeners for tuning in. That's the end of our MJ podcast. This was Episode 9, Part 3. This series, Cases State by State. My name is Mark, and I was your host for tonight's show. And we say to you all, good night from Plattsburgh, New York. Limited till it broke up and it rained down, it rained down. Mm-hmm.